Hello everybody, I'm Nicholas Gamer, and this is episode 9 of Modded Minecraft. So last episode, uh, we made a quarry. Took a little longer than I wanted it to. And... What? Okay. Apparently I lost my quarry. Huh. Well, apparently that caused too much lag. But, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, let's check out the quarry. Huh. I mean, it already finished, so maybe... But it's because it kept on loading chunks. So, uh, I guess we're gonna run the quarry for, uh, at night. Uh, alright, so anyway, I added, uh, more, uh, filters, because there was a bunch of other stuff that I didn't want. But yeah, let's, let's check, let's check out what we got. A lot of ore. I am expecting a lot of ore. Uh, we need a coal, so that's nice. Looks what, and, uh, we're actually not gonna do any technical mods today, we're gonna do, uh, Thumbcraft, actually. So, we have some shards, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, smelt and, uh, organize this thing later. We'll just leave it right here for right now. Uh, more shards. So let's go ahead and take those, actually. Oops. Let me to organize it. Um. A lot of iron, I bet. I guess I don't have to go mining for ferrets anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't, uh, there's no episode last, yesterday, or, actually I think this might be second day. It's because I'm sick, uh, and you can still probably hear I have a stuff no, stuff might sound a little different, but I couldn't, I couldn't talk at all, and nothing. I thought it was killing me, so, yeah, I had to take a little break, but, uh, had some videos, so we're okay with that. Wow, a lot of shards. A lot of variants. I already have a stack of earth, sh yeah, earth. Okay. We might, depending how quickly I uh, go through uh, Thumbcraft, we might have a, uh, we might do some technical stuff, but that's if I go quickly with it. So there we are. I probably won't need that many shards, but might as well take all of them out. And I'm pretty sure I have some in my chest, too. Alright, so the final chest. Are you guys ready to see how many diamonds I got? It's actually uh, a little more than uh, 40. I got almost three stacks of diamonds. Three. That is a lot. All right, let's go home. Let's deposit all this stuff. I'll uh, go ahead and smelt this later. I'll do it off camera. Maybe I'll uh, fix my... What's it called? Fix my uh, auto smelting station. Maybe add a couple of new things. I know I can trade with some... Uh, oh, yeah, I can trade with him. Can't trade with this one, though. Oh, yeah, I can. Never mind. Right, let's go home. And whoop. <laughs> Did I miss that time? That's right, it spawns me at this portal. It's not that far away, but it's kind of annoying. Home. It's kind of far away, though. All right, we're home. Night time. There's the portal. Let's go ahead and go to sleep really quickly. Now I already have a thumb, a thumb and craft or thumb and whatever. Let me see what's the name. Uh, Thano Namicon. Yes, something like that. I already have one of those, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make one. Because, uh, you need one. So what we need, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away first. Uh, random stuff, why not? This goes in here. Alright, so. <clears throat> what we need is... Well, let's bring this up first. Oh, that's not how you spell Thumbcraft. I guess I don't know how to spell. Oh. Thumbcraft. There we go. Well, we'll... No, I don't want to... Am I... Ugh. Yeah, I'm on utility mode. 
There we go. So what I need is a basic wand, which is just an iron wand. So what you need is iron caps, which is, uh, you just need two iron converted into nuggets. So let's go ahead and do that. There's that. And then you make it into a helmet shape. And this makes the caps. I'm actually really low on iron. I'm gonna have to go smell some. I don't think I'll need it. And then, of course, you need a stick. Uh, stick right here. One stick. And we have our wand. So now with this wand, as you can see in my corner, uh, I can collect aspects. Now, I can do it multiple ways. I can kill creatures. Or I can find these little nodes, which I probably won't be able to find one because it's nighttime. And I don't have special goggles. But that's okay. We don't need them just yet. Let's go ahead and uh, make the most important thing, which is a uh, thumbnomicon. And that's. And you make it by making a simple bookshelf. I might be a little boring today because <laughs> I'm a little. I'm still sick. So I'm not super energetic, so sorry about that, but I'll, I'll try my best. Alright, so you made a uh, bookshelf. Now, I believe you just stow it down. And click on it? No. I may be wrong. Uh, this, the rest of you might have been changed, so let me check this one. <laughs> it actually shows you what you need. Here we go. Oh, I need to place it. Okay. So let's place it, and there it is. So I was I was kind of close. <laughs> uh, so let's use this one since we made it. So we want to do a couple of things. We're gonna have to collect some. Um, this is what this is the first thing we're gonna make, which is two gold, uh, and uh, glass in the middle, and uh, uh, shards, any kind of shards. So let's go ahead and uh, grab some glass. It's kind of hard to explain this mod. Like, I'm not really good at explaining a mod. It, it's, it's a useful mod. It's, a, it's actually kind of... It's not... It's a good beginning mod, I guess. And uh, maybe end mod. It, it's, it's for... Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's a mod that's there. I really don't know. I, I don't know how I would, I would describe this mod. Like, what's it used for? So, obviously, I'm probably going to have this, no, not wand, this wand on me all the time. It's actually usually in my corner, so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of these shoes. I don't need them anymore. I'll just stick with the diamond. could actually use new armor. Took some damage while I was in the nether. There we go. Maybe I can smell that later to get some more diamonds. But yeah, so we have this. This, basically, this is how you get research. Now, as you saw right here in the bottom left corner, I said I don't understand this yet, because it's uh, too complex. Now, a torch, torch isn't super complex, so I can go ahead and do that. I'm going to start out with really very basic, basic stuff. Like, I don't think I can even do grass yet. Like, that's how basic you got to go. I'm going to replace these with fan skates. Can I do sand? Sand's pretty basic. I should be able to do sand. Yes, so I got one a tetra and one, I'm not sure what the other aspect's called. Yeah, I can't even do uh, grass yet. So we're gonna go ahead and walk around for a while, uh, learning some new things. Maybe I can do a leaf. Jungle leaves. Nope, can't do jungle leaves. Vines? Can't do vines, yeah. It's a little annoying <laughs> at first. Wow, can you even understand a dead bush? Alright, let's uh let's see. Uh maybe cobblestone? I don't know. Cobblestone might be a little too complex. Let's try it out. Cobblestone. No, I got cobblestone. How about mossy stone? No, I can't understand that. Slab. Oh nothing can be learned from this. And lily pad can't do that. Cactus? Nope. How about shuriken? Sheep? So what I'm doing is basically scanning, and I'm trying to learn new uh, aspects. 
And once I unlock all of them, I'll be able to make uh, research notes, which then I unlock and uh, basically enables me to craft that. That's gonna be way too complex. I got stone now. Did I get wood? No. Sandstone? I mean quicksand? Yes, let's do sandstone. Maybe I'll be able to do sandstone now, since I got sand and stone. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I got sand and I also got stone, so I'll be able to shoot, uh, do sandstone. Can I do grass now? Nope. Wow. That bush. Nothing. How about some, let's do some uh, inventory bread. Can't do bread. Can't do that. To understand this, you need to study a spirit. Okay. Let's go back, see if I can uh, go into my chest and scan some stuff. There we go, got that. I already have a torch. I think since I already scanned a torch, I'll be able to scan a stick. And uh, coal. And of course, charcoal. Uh, let's do some flowers. Nope. 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 Nothing can be learned from this anyway. Alright. Uh, that's fine. I don't think I can do any uh, Tinker's Construct mods. Yeah, nothing can be learned from this. Tinker's Construct stuff isn't actually very uh, nice with this mod. Alright, so I got a furnace, and I discovered a new clue to a new research. Alright. Crafting station. Crafting table. Nothing. Chest? Nope. Sign. Nope. And no. Alright. Let's do coal. Uh, more coal. Right here. So I got coal. Now, I should be able to do a stick. I'm gonna see if I can do this. My wand. Nope, can't do a wand just yet. So, stick, right here. Really? Still can't understand a stick. What I think I can do is actually, maybe I can study a sapling, which then will be able to get me, uh, wood. So let's try to get a sapling really quickly. There it is. Wow, I can't even get a sapling, that's sad, okay. Well, there's other ways of uh, getting this research done. Basically, once I scan something, it gives me points. So what I can do is, let's go ahead and go to our book. And we should be able to craft a uh, special kind of uh, crafting station. Which I don't... Re no, here it is. So what I need is... I need to make uh, a table. Which is uh, planks and uh, slabs. Alright, we can do that. So let's get... Uh, let's just convert five wood. So we got our... Planks. And slabs. So here's our table. And then, let's go ahead and uh, put this outside. Kind of like it outside. Right here, and now this stick. Where's my wand? Did I lose my wand? I don't have my wand anymore. Oh, there it is. Ooh. I mean, it's not that. It's a basic recipe. It's only two iron. So here it is. So here's our special table, uh, arcane workbench. So what I need is, this is what I'll need to craft some things in here. Some things are basic, which I can craft in a uh, normal workbench, and some things I'm going to need this. What, and that means I'm going to need magic. So how I get magic, like I said, you can kill creatures, or you can skin nodes and then suck up the magic into this wand. And uh, you see the uh, capacity is 25. And then I'll put the wand right in here. And then I'll be able to, uh, let's say I'm building boots. Like, there's kind of special boots. Then, once I 
make the uh, shape for the boots, it will show me like which aspects I need. Like I might need terra, I might need uh, water, I might need uh, air, earth, stuff like that. And then I will be able to, uh, and then it'll tell me how much I need in these little corners. And then I'll put my wand in and uh, it will take that magic from my wand and then I'll be able to get the actual item. So we have this. Let's go ahead and make a research table, which is basically two table. Uh, so we know how to do already make a table. And this can also be used as a normal work sh uh, station too. See, you can still use it as a normal uh, crafting table. So we can go ahead and make... What? That's not what I wanted to make. Maybe they were close to too close together. I'm gonna uh, spread it out a little bit. Well, maybe Cot can use one table once he gets into this mod. All right, so take two. Let's see. Maybe uh. I guess it needs to be separated. Alright, here goes nothing. Again. Work this time. No? Why aren't you working? Let's read it. To gather knowledge. The research table is uh, created by placing two tables next to each other, then clicking with the scribing tool. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay, so... Now we have... A lot of these. <laughs> Three. I mean, I guess I can always burn them. So, let's go ahead and try this again. Hopefully not fail this time. Uh, I need one more wood. There we go. And I'll put these in here. So, this. Like this. Nope. Alright. Uh, I should have another one outside so what I, okay so scribing tool and that you need that looks ugly let's go ahead and change the position of that there we go so for a crafting uh for a scribing tool you need a feather a glass bottle and a ink sack so i'm going to go ahead and uh gather those materials and it's right here so what you need is there there's a scribing tool you need uh, a glass it, it can be a glass bottle, it can be a glass, uh, this thing. Then you need, uh, I guess you can, wow. I guess you can use, uh, more than, uh, uh, ink sack. And then you need a feather. And then uh, you can also refill fill it by adding, uh, more, uh, ink sacks or, I guess, graphite or other stuff like that. So, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, get a, uh, a feather and some ink sacks. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, I came back. Um, trunk floating. <laughs> I got eight feathers. I picked up some of those flowers that gave me black dye. And I also killed some ink. Uh, yeah, I killed some ink. I killed some squids. Uh, let's go ahead and put this in mob drops. This right here. I need one ink and then I need one feather. And then, of course, we need uh, three glass. And uh, let's go ahead. Actually, what I'll do is I'll take a chest with me, and I'll put it over there for Thumbcraft stuff. I got enough space. I'm literally gonna have everything, everything on everywhere. So here's my scripting tool. Let's go ahead and uh, take back that dye stuff and the feathers. Oops, no, no, uh, mob drops. There you are. And I'll take this. <clears throat> I can keep my wands there. I can keep my. Uh, Thumbnomicon over there too. I'll go ahead and uh, put it right here. So let's do this, 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 and this. And this right here too, why not? Alright, so now that we have our table, click. And here it is. So now I'll be able to break it and move it down one. Oh, okay. I see. And you can actually put it in any corner you want, but I like it right here. So, as I scanned things earlier, 
Uh, I got 18 air, uh, some per ditto. I, I, I can't pronounce some of these. Uh, pot uh, poten potention, basically. Uh, fire, terra, which is earth, uh, light, and ordo. What I can do with these, if I have a paper in here, which I'm actually going to have to start harvesting some sugarcane, so I can make a sugarcane farm. Uh, I'll be able to uh, make some cool things. Let's go ahead and uh, make a couple more uh, things that I uh, I probably could just uh, make. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, look through some of those things. So here's the wand section. Uh, of course, there's the different wands. Uh, here we go. Uh, basic alchemy. That's what I want to make. So it's... Uh, it's just a cauldron, and you just right-click on it. All right, so I can do that. Cauldron, cauldron, cauldron. I'm pretty sure I have cauldrons. I don't remember where are they, though. Uh, random stuff? Let's check random stuff. Cauldron. Here it is. Look at that. All right. So here we go. Let's put it... Uh, Right here, and then right click on it, and there we have a cauldron. Now, we need to power this cauldron, of course. So, what we need is uh, to put a fire under there. Unfortunately, I am kind of worried about doing that because my house could be set on fire. So, uh, that's always not fun. Oh, this is gonna be risky. All right, I'm gonna do it. I think a torch. No, a torch wouldn't work. Oh, really? I didn't get any netherrack? Okay. Do I at least have a flint and steel? No, I do have a flint and steel. Alright, fine. Let's make flint and steel. Nope, not all the iron. Uh, let's get a flint, which should be right here. And it is not. Do I not have flint? I guess I never made flint. Well, I mean, there's flint uh, in my quarry, so I can always get that. Oh, are you going to be difficult? There it is. All right, flint and steel. What did you guess I'm going to make from actual steel? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the nether, and I'm also going to gather some uh, sugar cane so we can have paper, and then uh, we'll put it all into use. All right, I am back with uh, the netherrack and uh, some sugar canes. So I'm gonna head and I'll put this down here. Well, I'm a little skeptical about this, but uh, here goes nothing. Now what we need is, let's go ahead and I'll quickly make an infinite water source. You put some water in there so it starts boiling because that's how you make potions. There's the water. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll look around. Oh, this is actually really. Do I need another bucket of water? No, it's not. Okay. So you can see it boils pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and have this open. Now, it shouldn't set on fire, but uh, it's Minecraft. So uh, if I stand on it, I'm gonna take damage, of course. Uh, basically, what you do, you'll put uh, aspects in there. If, if, let's say I were to throw this torch in there, we know that it has light, so there's going to be one light in there. Alright, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and make a quick little uh, sugarcane farm. Go ahead and uh, set one up right here, it should be fine. Take two buckets of water. There we go. One bucket right here. Another bucket right here. Now we have an infinite water source. And there we go. I don't have to keep it pretty big. I actually uh, stole the sugar cane from a uh, pot. I can always pay him back later. Uh, actually, this, well, this will grow one, but this won't grow at all. So there's no really point there unless I want for decoration. Uh, this should be enough. I can always expand later. Uh, let's go ahead and scan this, see if I can... Nope. Not surprised at all, actually. Uh, pull these buckets up again. Cover this up. 
and put this in here. I'll put, go ahead and put back the water buckets. Okay, it did burn. Uh, wow. It's burning. It is burning. Alright, so I'm going to make this little chunk of my house fireproof. Good thing it's not spreading. Oh, man. Alright. Uh, let's see. Two blocks. Two. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, wow, good thing it didn't spread. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, do this section right here, too. I'll we'll make it stone, just to be safe. It's going to look weird, I know, but... What are going to do about it? Why not? Let's use Sears Brick. I'll, I'll replace it later. On ore? Nah, I'll just do it this. There we go. Huh. It actually doesn't look too bad. Kind of fits. Alright. So, yeah, good thing I caught that, and good thing it didn't spread. Oh, man. That would have sucked if it spread. Alright, so let's go ahead and put away the dirt. I gotta start making barrels soon. Barrels. Alright. So, now we have that. So let's go ahead and, uh... This doesn't look too bad. No, oh, I like it. Alright, uh, so that's that. Let's go ahead and make a research paper. See how I can make one of those. I believe... It should be just a piece of paper. Nothing in here. Alright, uh... Go ahead, scrolling down to the options. Huh. Nice background. Bees. I absolutely hate bees. Alright, well. Should be somewhere here. Okay, so that's weird. Research note. Apparently, I don't... Huh. I need knowledge fragments. That's weird. Loan fragment. Okay, let's see. Uh, so, I need to get a research notes. So, let's see. Uh, Thumbcraft. Nope, forgot the B. Nope. Forgot the M. So, three pages of it. <laughs> Should be somewhere nearby. Here we go. Uh, research notes. So it does not show me a recipe for this. Alright, wow, okay. Uh, that's different, actually. You used to be able to, uh, or do you just need, I think you just need regular paper. Let, let's experiment. So, three paper. Three paper. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, open up this. And let's research Nitro. You need scripting tool. Okay, so I need another scripting tool. I can do that. One of those, and one of those. It's been a while, actually. Alright, so I got a scripting tool, and I got paper. There we go. Alright, so what I did is, uh, you have to have paper in your inventory, and you have to have a scripting tool in your inventory. And then what you do is you right-click. So, we have Nitro, which will basically replace this fire thing. So, what we need to do is we need to connect light and fire. And that's what we can replace this. Now, we have to connect it somehow. Uh, let's see. 
So what I could do is I could do air, because the air is a uh, light. And I can see it binded this. And then I could use light again. And I think I can use air again. Okay, that then and maybe light again. There we go. I bet there's a simpler way to make this, uh but I kind of screwed up. That's okay. So we got our nitro now. Just right click, and I've learned how to make nitro. So that I can go in into my thumb craft, thumb and thumb craft. Basically, how this mini game works is you need to find uh, things that relate. So air would, uh, I mean, terror would relate with air, uh, probably water, and maybe. Uh, Light would relate with fire, stuff like that. And there's, of course, there's websites that you can uh, use to help out. So what we could do is, uh, we need three potential. I'm just gonna call it potential. Uh, three light and three fire. So what I could do is I could go ahead and do coal, which is two potential and two uh, fire, and I could throw in six torches in there. And I could also throw in two, where's my nether stuff, two glowstone, and that's gonna give me two, which um, I might use one for later. So what I could do is I could throw coal, another one, and now six torches. So now I have my basic components in there, and now I need the main ingredient, which is glowstone. There's one, and there's the other one. Or not. What's inside of there? Can I skin this stuff? Nope. So what I can do right now is, literally, I, I don't need this anymore. I can just replace it with... This stuff, right? Uh, actually, I'll just go ahead and leave that nether rack right there. No point of uh, having it. I can just put it right here. And it's gonna heat this, uh... Cauldron up. Where it's, uh, crystal. See, as you can still see, it's still bubbling, everything's fine, and, uh, and, uh yeah! So, that's Thumbcraft right there. I'm gonna go, we're gonna explore Thumbcraft in the future, but I'm gonna have, have to leave you out with this, so... Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, thankfully, we didn't get anything too technical. Now, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and uh, research some more stuff. Probably going to scan. I'm not going to make anything. It's, it's just research and uh, scanning. So nothing, uh, nothing big. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys like this. Make sure you give me a like. Comment if you want and subscribe and yeah, sorry about uh, having stuff knows I kind of I'm still sick Hopefully there's should be a video tomorrow too because uh, I do feel better, but yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye